hey guys it's been a while i haven't made a video like this but it's about time because a lot of people have asked me on instagram for where and how to get started with fpv or just where to get the parts from uh, to be able to build one and i'll be honest there's no simple answer to it so that's why i decided to make this video and give you a step-by-step -step guide from being an absolute beginner with no clue where to get started to being a pilot where you can fly confidently uh, out in the real world or in any environment that you want to so let's just dive into it step one and the most important and primary step is getting started with a simulator now i'll tell you what a simulator is it's basically is like a video game where you can uh, fly uh, the drone on your computer or your laptop with the help of just one radio a remote that you can get for about five to ten thousand depending on what you which one you want to go with uh, you can get a a cheap remote and get started with the simulator a few of the simulators that i suggest would be drl a drone racing league and lift off on steam which you can fly with your friends uh, online all together or there's another one called fpv free rider unleashed where you can uh, try the extreme maps like a desert or a jungle to get the feel of that now moving on to uh, why you would want to start with a simulator uh, I'll tell you why it has a lot of benefits it, it helps you get started it tells you the basics the operations uh, of flying an FPV drone giving you the experience through your computer and being able to learn a hobby uh, without actually crashing the drone because it's very impossible to learn this uh, skill without crashing uh, so it helps you save a lot of cost uh, when you uh, fly in the simulator and practice it uh, basically a manual drone uh, that you can fly like a fighter pilot so it gives you the hang of it uh, makes you practice anytime wherever you want to without uh, actually crashing and incurring a lot of uh, cost that goes into rebuilding or uh, fixing your drone so let's just move on to step two which would be uh, choosing your system the flying system that you would want to be seeing through your goggles which could be uh, analog or hd i particularly like high definition one that is provided by dji the most important reason uh, with me going with the hd set, a setup is got it gives me uh, a very high definition feel of my whole environment to be able to fly confidently and navigate through the environment and also it comes with a pair of goggles goggles are like these a remote and an air unit that goes on the drone so this is a remote a pair of goggles and it comes with air unit as well it's called the FPV a DJI FPV system you can choose the I suggest you go with the HD version because it just makes you more confident while you're navigating through the real world environment while flying the drone now moving on to step three uh, once you've chosen your system that you want to fly with uh, you can get a three inch tiny cine whoop uh, which is essentially a three inch drone that comes uh, with these ducts around the props that helps you uh, save a lot of costs that could go in the damage or rebuilding or just fixing the drone when you crash it and this one particularly is a squad v2 which i got off rc mumbai i link all the websites that you can get your fpv parts from out in the description and uh, once you've got this drone and your uh, dji fpv system you can start flying out in the real world this three inch drone is meant for flying indoors or just basically slowly uh, so so you can get the hang of flying out in the real world once you've got the hang of flying these ones 
you can move on to the bigger drones which are essentially five or seven inch i personally only have uh, a five inch that i used for um, droning through the landscape the bigger playground where i want to just go out and about uh, farther than this one faster than this one um, uh, these are the drones to go with uh, when you're doing outdoor flying and you want to go fast and far so these are the drones uh, that that you might want to get a three inch and a five inch uh, to be able to fly out in the real world or just particularly indoors or wherever you want to once you've got the hang of flying in the uh, real world you can move on to the fourth step which is surround yourself with more people out in the hobby because it just helps the community just helps you grow as well and it's 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 just more fun to be able to fly with your friends than just flying alone and let's say you come across a problem or an issue that you can't fix then your friends who may have better knowledge on the subject can help you out troubleshoot and fix your drone back so now that you have more people around you uh, in the hobby supporting you and helping you grow and uh, just being able to practice more in the out out in the real world move on to the fifth step is not stopping there and just improving your skill with practice every day every week every chance that you get becoming a better pilot navigating through different environments and yes that's about it it's upon your your wish or your desire to be able to go through different obstacles and different environments to be uh, able to better your reflexes in terms of when you're out in the real field doing a professional job so that's about it for this video i hope you guys found it useful and if you did don't forget to like and share with your friends who may uh, be looking to get started with this fpv journey of theirs and don't forget to subscribe because the next video uh, is gonna be what's in my fpv kit bag and i'll see you in the next video till then peace out and keep flying